Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to go through a quick tutorial on how to set up your Xbox, uh, PlayStation or maybe a generic controller you have at home and maybe it's vibration or the rumble feature is not working with the Dolphin emulator. So here's a fix. Uh, here's a fix I should say. Um, so uh, a quick background, most of the emulators, uh, let's say PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 1, uh, we have SNES, Switch um they have their own uh, you know obvious uh, obviously their own emulators that you or we all can find around the internet for pc or for your android phone this is going to be just for the pc for windows uh, i am running windows 10 it's a little old i know but um, i'm not going to make a switch to windows 11 in anytime soon so i have come across an issue where my xbox controller is not detecting or is, is not running with its full capability it's not detecting the vibration now I have already fixed it but I'm going to redo the whole tutorial that I did and I tried to find online any sort of solution any videos um, the video that I did find was a bit old and was not on the uh, latest version on the GameCube so uh, right now I am running Dolphin 2506 a and I'll just show you what the update version is this is what it says and it is the QT version 6.5.1 uh, now this will work for V as well as GameCube emulation so I have two games here um, I'm not going to run those games this is not about the games uh, this video so let's jump into how you can fix the vibration so obviously you're going to go into the controllers and make sure that whatever controller you have selected in the port one the option standard control needs to be selected um, unless you have the obvious gamecube original controllers then obviously you're going to go with those i'm not i'm not sure how those work um, i don't have the original controller so i only have a xbox third party controller so i'll go into configure um now here's the thing i am going to assume that you all have your controller already set up so uh, i'm going to show quickly um every key works every key has been assigned manually by me um if you don't have this set up you'll have to set up this manually um one important thing that you need to do you need to go over at the top left section of this uh this pop-up window um, you see device written here if you see my cursor uh, in the drop down keyboard mouse will be the default option so you can set up the, the controller I, I guess somehow it, I don't think it might detect okay it's not detecting it is really important you may see a lot of options it says Xbox 360 controller um, gamepad and Xbox 360 for Windows we are only going to select the option that says X input, which is the direct X input. I, I think uh, I could be wrong. So you select that and it will say slash zero slash gamepad. You don't need to worry about whether your controller may or may not work. It will work for sure. Uh, so you're going to select that. Um, then you have to set up each and every key yourself manually if you don't know how the gamecube controller looks like how it looks like um, you can search it up on google and try to you know based on your preference you can relate the original game gamecube controller to your actual physical controller you're trying to connect here okay so all that is done the main thing which is rumble now if you see here it says motor L motor R which uh, stands for motor left and motor right as any sane person would understand I'm going to select this option and you can see everything is already laid out for me if you start the emulation I'll clear here let's go here into the motor section you will only get this D input direct input zero keyboard mouse now if you try to test your controller it will show this red icon with one value and your controller I'm going to remove this it will show 
mentioned as just the motor this is how your window should look like if you're using dolphin emulator in 2025 on 28th july for the first time and if you're just a newbie uh, trying to get into gamecube emulation and want to set up your controller so this is how your window will look like now if you notice we if we go back um we have selected x input gamepad here as I said earlier, and I'm going to repeat it again, does not matter what controller you have, whether you're using a PlayStation 3 controller, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox 360 or Xbox One X, whichever controller you want to use. It's up to your choice. Always make sure that it is selected as X input and it should say gamepad. I know it is generic, but it is important. Set up everything. Now go into motor this is how your window should look like and it will say keyboard and mouse so you have to select from the drop down again x input the same exact thing that we did with the controller setup now you will see motor l motor r if you try to test it it will show red like a green like a, like a red bar sort of thing and your motor will not work it should not work because that's how I've been trying to troubleshoot it for hours. Uh, now, in the previous, uh, previous. Now, in the previous versions, uh, all you had to do is select motor L. You will insert output. Go over to operators. Select this icon. I don't know what it is called. I might have to look it up. And then motor R. Insert output. And if you test it here, your controller was supposed to work. Now in the new version it says expected end of expression no matter what you do it will not work now if you press ok it will say the expression contains syntax error contains a syntax error uh, which i tried i thought maybe the apostrophe had to be removed and basically i tried to you know remove this and this and this and these apostrophe and if i try again it gives me this error so basically you have to input your left motor and the right motor of the controller that is uh, ported into the x input um, it would work but it's not working anyway so let's go back what is the solution um, you are going to select motor hit delete on your keyboard select motor l insert output go to operators select this symbol select motor r click insert output the value you see below it should now say zero which means it is enabled I, I suppose one meant it is disabled and zero is the value to show that uh, the vibration will be enabled now you click test output and yes my controller works I'll put my controller on to the mic and how it vibrates uh, it's going to sound very weird <laughs> I don't know if it picked up or not I might have to check it in the recording but once you do that and once the test works from here on out um, all you can do is okay I was testing it again never mind you can increase the intensity of your controller vibration so if I set it to, to 200 I don't know if I can okay no I guess 100% is the maximum we can go uh, yep I guess we can go 100% at the maximum you do not want to click clear here you do not want to close this window always make sure that you are clicking OK here you can close it and it will now work now let's go back and make sure that the settings have saved controllers configure controllers are working this is set up to X input go to the rumble motor option the device is selected as X input zero gamepad motor L motor R the values are added below and the emulator detects both the motors on uh, in our gamepad uh, whether you're using PlayStation 3 PlayStation 4 5 Xbox um, or maybe a switch whatever thing you call it like the slap on thing I don't know I've never used the switch um, always make sure the value should say zero below and you have to click OK and then 
close this thing close everything and your games will now work for sure um again i'm going to reiterate this is for the version 2506a if you are using an older version your interface if you go into the motor settings will not look like this it will look completely different and so um, you can look up the tutorial for the older versions but i don't recommend it i always recommend that you go to help section and check for updates and you know you can see it says you are running the latest version available um, it's recommended that you upgrade your emulator uh, so that more and more games get compatible and more and more settings are stable and give better performance so i hope this was helpful somehow um i'm not sure which version it may be when you're watching this video but if the options are same you just have to follow the same thing and remove this once again it should look like this once you enter the variables but you have to remove the first word motor and it would say zero and you will be all good and your controller will work now the the last thing i want to say the rumble is very low on this emulator specifically i'm not sure how it works in the games but when i test it it runs like at like maybe 10 to 20 percent of my actual vibration of the controller um, i do have a playstation 3 controller i also have an xbox third party controller and i also have a playstation 5 controller i have tried and tested all three of those and it works perfectly fine thank you for watching um, if you like this maybe you can subscribe i do play a lot of weird games or just general games i guess every now and then i'm not very active but every time i find any sort of bug or a problem on pc um, whether it be emulation or any older games i try to post it online so i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye